I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will derive a formula for variance in continuous uniform distribution. So, we will apply the techniques learned in calculus, basically integral calculus uh, and then derive the formula. In one of our videos we have already derived formula for mean. Uh, but let us start uh, by defining a, a function. Let us say uh, the function is defined over a fixed interval between A to B is a uniform distribution. So, it is kind of like this continuous uniform distribution. So, you get kind of a rectangle, right? So, whenever we are talking about uh, continuous uniform distribution, we have an interval. Let us say this interval is from A to B. Any real number between this interval has the same probability, right? So, every real number a random number defined in this interval will have exactly same probability which is f of x and the probability should be what? The area of the rectangle should be 1 that gives you the value of f of x so which is 1 over b minus a right so that is how you always define. Now as far as the mean is concerned which could be also written as the expected value is the center value right so so a plus b divided by 2 gives the mean for this kind of distribution right so that is kind of uh, uh, obvious you can say but let's say from symmetry you can derive this so if that is uniform distribution then the middle value which divides into exactly half so from symmetry we can say we have the mean as a plus b divided by 2. Anyway, using calculus also we have derived this formula in another video. You can look into that part. Correct? So, that is uh, what we are not discussing here. We will now concentrate on variance. Okay. Now, what is variance and how is it defined? Now, for a continuous distribution, the variance will be from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, x is x square times f of x dx minus mean square right so that is how we define variance this is the variance is that okay by definition so variance as you can say we can say difference of mean of squares and square of means right so square of means so that's how we get now what is the function in our case so function basically is defined between a to b with the value 1 over b minus a and all other values it is 0 right so, so let me write down how to define this function here so we'll say f of x is equals to 1 over b minus a when x is between a and b and is 0 otherwise. Is that okay? So that is how we define our function. So this integral basically will be from a to b because all of the places the value is 0 for the function uh, x square and the function is 1 over b minus a so d of x minus mean square. So, mean is a plus b divided by 2 whole square, right? So, you can look into this derivation using integrals in one of my videos. I will provide you a link for the same, but I hope you have understood the formula. Mid value, right? Okay. Now, this derivation is if a to b. Now, this is a constant. So, you can write this as 1 over b minus a derivation for x square will be x cube divided by 3. So, power function derivation, right? From a to b minus a plus b whole square. I mean, a plus b divided by 2 whole square, right? So, so let's expand this, which is 1 over b minus a, and that gives you uh, 
divided by 3. If I put b here, we get b cube minus a cube. Is it okay? Minus a plus b whole square over 4. Now, b cube minus a cube could be fact decomposed, right, as two factors. Uh, could be factored as b minus a times b square plus a b. This is a standard formula, right? Plus a square. We have everything divided by 3 minus a plus b whole square. Let me expand this also. It gives you a square plus 2ab plus b square over 4. So we just applied simple formula a plus b whole square and this is factoring a cube minus b cube types, right? That is what it is. So you can see b minus a, b minus a cancel out. So we are left with b square plus a, b plus a square over 3 minus a square plus 2ab plus b square over 4, right? So now we'll take common denominator, which is 12. Okay. This term gets multiplied by 4. So we get 4 times b square minus, I mean, plus ab plus a square minus 3 times a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? Now let's expand and then combine the like terms. We get 4b square plus 4ab plus 4a square minus 3a square minus 6ab minus 3b square. Is it okay? Divided by 12. Let's move this side now. So 4b square minus, I mean, 4b square minus 3b square gives us b square. Okay. 4ab minus 6ab gives us 2ab. So we get 2ab. And 4a square minus 3a square will give us plus a square divided by 12, right? So, uh, I'm sorry, 4ab minus 6ab is uh, minus 2ab, right? So we wrote this, 4ab minus 6, minus, right? So this is, 6 is negative, so, so minus 2ab. And that gives us b minus a whole square divided by 12. Do you see that? So that is the formula for variance. So for a continuous uniform distribution, we have variance as equals to b minus a whole square divided by 12. Right? So that is how you derive the formula for variance. What is standard deviation? Square root of, right? So let me write down standard deviation also. So standard deviation will be square root of this. So it will be b minus a over square root of 12. Is that okay? So these are the two formulas which we are going to use most of the time for continuous uniform distribution. I hope you find it interesting. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you. And all the best.